Well, hello, my Instacart shoppers. Welcome to my channel, Instacart Pearls of Wisdom. My name is Sarah, and I'm so glad that you're here today. Well, as I'm recording this at 4.30 in the morning, I'm making corned beef and cabbage. I know, it's like I'm a week late, right? But Greg was working on Martha's Vineyard, so we um, postponed it, and I'm sure he's loving the smell of corned beef and cabbage at 4.30 in the morning. Of course, I'm ready to have it right now, but that's just me. So welcome to the channel. And here we talk about a lot of things, sometimes good tips and tricks, and the comments are great too. And then other times we, we just kind of vent the frustrations of the day. So yesterday, as I record this, it was a Saturday and um, there's just no batches coming in, no batches coming in. So there, there was this one a few towns away on the water in Dennisport, and um, it was offering a peak boost and no tip. And it's like no tip, no trip. Just for the record, that's the beginning of the story, and it's also the end of the story. No tip, no trip. But Greg was encouraging me. He said, ah, take it. What the heck? It gives you something to do. You'll be done in time because it's pizza day on Saturdays at this house. And so I'd be back in time to assemble the pizza. And um, and so I took it and I just knew way too many items for the amount. There was a $4 boost and I said, well, I'll just consider that the tip. And I get there and she says, hey, Sarah, like we're buddies, right? Hey, Sarah, how about how the flower, floral arrangements looking today? And I said, well, maybe she's like just conscientious and maybe she'll, you know, give me a tip of all the things that we think about a no tip trip right as we learn you, you don't get wisdom from a smooth ride in life you don't you get it from the bumps and the scratches and the dust ups right so anyway this is all on me as i tell the story so i go over to floral arrangements and i find a real pretty spring bouquet area and it's on sale so i take a couple of pictures and send that and she goes how about vases so I spend some time doing that. I'm like, shoot me already, right? I can just tell, here we go. You can't make this up. Her name was Karen, I swear to God. A friendly Karen, a friendly Karen with demands, right? I don't know which is, is tougher, the snarky or the demanding, with a smile, right? I don't know, I don't know. So I'm in a great mood because finally the wind has died and it's 40, which feels like 70 after the winter of bitter winds. And so anyway, I'm sending all these different pictures of the freaking vases and she says, how about roses? And then I have to ask her what color and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. So there's some sparkling um, cider, there's some chocolates, there's, and I, I, I'm thinking, okay, these people are here on the Cape for the weekend. It's gonna be a little fun and frolic and celebrating of some sort. So I get into it, what the heck, you know? It's their little vacation. So anyway, I shop the whole thing. It's a ridiculous waste of time. Stupid, stupid me. I'm just going stupid me all the way through, right? So I, I, I should know my lesson, but like, eh, what the heck, you know? And um, it goes in the time frame, which is like how a lot of us sometimes shop. It's like sometimes we look for the big or the decent tip. Let's not even get into big and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I get it all. I get the address. Of course, it's a waterfront resort. And I get there and, um, you know, I want to get Karen <laughs> all of her items so I pull out my little red wagon, the people that run the resort. Oh, that's so cute. Where'd you get that? I love your boots. Oh boy, here's her unit. I get there and she opens the door and I say, oh, here it comes, the envelope or just something rolled up, right? Now, mind you, I started to watch Casino for the 956th time where Sharon Stone gives out $100 tips. So, you know, my expectations are definitely in the fantasy zone. And, um, you know, there was no unicorns with this waterfront, you know, drop off to their little, you know, swat, their little love nest. Anyway, I delivered the thing and I went back in, no tip, no comment, you know, I mean, it was just all on me, but like I did it. 
and um, it's like you do what you do. And, and I just, you know, I just, I would feel so slimy if I didn't, and I'm sitting there and I, I'm composing the letter, right? Because of course that's what we do, the letter, and then all of the um, things we're gonna do to get even, which of course, I never do the letter or the getting even with, you know, throwing eggs at their door, or anything like that. But it's just like, so here they are in Cape Cod, and they're going to be doing all these things with services, right? Where you get food delivered, you get, um, you know, Uber Eats type of delivery. You go to a bar and have a few cocktails because things are opening up again. And you start doing all this stuff. And it's like, you know, are you, are you thanking people for services in the way of, like, money? I mean, like... Is this like poor Cape Cod with you, right, Karen? <laughs> you know, you come down here and you get all these services and you just don't don't pay for them. It's just kind of a weird day. So it's all on me. The $4 boost was what I considered it for the tip. And of course, I'll move on. And of course, you know, it, I'm just kicking myself. That's all. But um, so that that's my just little story of the day. But um, yeah, it was interesting. And so... In the summer, they come. I'm having um, something exchange. It's it's like this, you know, um, where you pay for um, them to grow the stuff. I can't think of the, maybe somebody will. But anyway, I'm having that today. It's a blend of breakfast and um, French roast. And um, I can hear that Greg is up having his coffee. So anyway... Um, glitch problems galore with the, um, app. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing it, but I have to uninstall and install it in the middle of a shop. It just, it's like you press on, you know, so you find your Arnold bread and you press on, you know, found item. And usually the scanner comes up and you hit the scan, you know, takes the picture and everything. And yesterday, three times in one shop, it, showed up as like a blank screen couldn't take the scan couldn't do anything so i had to you know unload it and reload it and then the double little circles of nothing <laughs> happened a few times too so it was an interesting day and um you just wish that instacart would get their <laughs> together and one of the um <laughs> one of the one of the shops was showing me all these ridiculous replacements like they didn't have an organic veggie and I put in like regular could have been zucchini because it always comes up organic and um and it shows me a catnip toy for a cat huh <laughs> so thanks thanks instacart you really you really help us out in the tech world um so anyway you know we go on this is fun love my job and um I hope that uh all of you are enjoying your Instacart, and sometimes you could see the absurd in all of the crazy. And, um, you know, another lesson learned, if there's one thing you can take away from this, it's no tip, no trip. And I'm glad that I funded their waterfront weekend. <laughs> I'll see you here the next time on Instacart, Pearls of Wisdom. This has been Sarah. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.